Okay, let's go to Russell. Let's do a recap here, guys and gals. A little recap of the Russell. Here, here was our signals this morning on the Russell 2000. This one, you guys nailed. Good job, all you guys and gals. Good job, Earl. Finally getting out of that little sucker right there. But here was the signals this morning. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six signals in the Russell 2000 Mini this morning. Now, what, play the first video that Gerald just uh, uh, produced. It should be on the website under training, training videos. It'll tell you how to trade the Ninja 8 software. That'll give you the basic understanding how to trade this. But our setup this morning, we just had a nice trade here on the Russell. Here's our setup this morning. Notice how the Russell 2000 here, how market delta, you want market delta to go with your overall arrow buy setup. Remember, the arrow buy setup, you know, this is Fibonacci analysis that's built in. This is already built into your supply and demand filters built in, your sweet spot indicators built in. That arrow produced right here for a possible long in an uptrend. So here we had a nice, nice long with an arrow producing that, that uh, nice buy setup. Look how market delta, uh, market delta confirmed. Positive 24. It closed positive 24. Stop loss is two ticks below that swing low. We still have not had a negative market delta yet on our last trade setup. It's still in the trade right here. Still in the trade. But you notice all these nice trades here we had this morning. We had them all off market profile. We used market profile over here in conjunction with the overall arrows and then look at uh, market delta, how that set that up for that nice run. Go over to the S&P, Gerald, real quick. The S&P 500, we had a buy set up, Gerald S&P. You see how you see how I've turned negative market delta, guys? Negative market delta. You, you see how it's not too much slippage right here. See how you can get out of that thing? Not too much slippage on getting out of that Russell trade. See negative market delta. See the negative negative 56. Look how that that reversal bar. Remember that reversal bar I told you guys about about getting out of the contracts. You can wait for that on possible runners too right there. See how that is? See how the negative market delta holding that up? Great little trade setup. Gerald, are you still there? See if we get Gerald to switch over the S&P on the S&P 500 trade. Hey, Gerald. Gerald, Gerald. Gerald must be having a cigar. See, I shouldn't have bought him those uh, Monte Cristo cigars for Christmas. I buy him Monte Cristo cigars, and now he takes breaks all the time. <laughs> oh, Jeff, he's like excellent. All right, anyway, all right, we're going to switch over the S&P here in a second, but see if Gerald, uh, he's out having probably a, one of his monies. So, but anyway, what we like to see here, guys and gals, is that was the buy setup right here. Here's your buy setup. Look how positive market delta, 24, right at the arrow. There's your arrow-based system. The arrow, they do not repaint. It popped up right at the close of that bar. Right at the close of the bar, and that's what we produced so far today in the Russell 2000. The S&P 500. Let's see if I can get Gerald here. Let's see if we can switch over to the ES. If not, we'll just call the call the video here in a second. But that's what we want to do, guys and gals. We want to make sure that we look for positive market delta to confirm those arrows. Negative market delta to confirm those arrows. All right, any more questions? Pretty nice trade setup we just had. Any questions, guys and gals? Anybody? What I'll do is I will get some trades up here for you guys and gals. I'll get some trades. I'll get some trades up for you guys and gals. And I'll send out to, on different markets. We'll send them out to you. And we're good to go. No, we went over that. Uh, we went over that right here on the second one because it was right here. Hey Thomas, butting its head right up against what? Butting its head right against high value area. In fact, we were talking about it when the arrow fired. Someone asked me in the room. I believe it was Hovig that asked me. I said those are the arrows that would get stopped out typically because you are at the high value area. Yep. But really a nice little piece of trading there. Yeah, ES, man. Oh, you're, you're having your money cigars. Switch over to ES, buddy. 
All right, let's look at the ES real quick, and then we'll, we'll cut this video off. If we go to ES, we know that we had a buy set up here on the ES, S&P 500. Our buy set up was what? Here was positive market delta, if you look at it. There's our buy set up all the way down here, positive market delta on triple confluence. Triple confluence, buy low value area, S&P, there you go. Nice little trade setup. 99 all the way up to what? Almost 09, almost 10 points. Almost 10 points. Remember, we want to use, play the first video. This is just a recap of today's video. Find the trend. Are we trend or chop? Use that magenta MA if it's trending up. We're going to buy LVA. By break retest of the blue line, by break retest the red line, HVA. That's what we did. We bought low value area with positive market delta. Gives us a sell. Sell HVA. Sell the red. Sell break retest the blue. Sell break retest the LVA. If it's chop and magenta is flat as a pancake, what we want to do, avoid the blue, sell the red, buy the green. So if those arrows fire like it did on the mini Russell live right there. Look at that mini Russell Live. That's a beautiful trade down here at 953. That's a break retest the control point. She exploded.